everyone. I'm back today with Stamp Affair and we are going to use our shrink plastic to create a little mason jar embellishment. Um, all you need would be your friendship jar stamp set and the jar and lid die and then the friendship jar toppers die. And then of course your shrink plastic. I've gone ahead and I know you won't be able to see this but I've used the clear uh, shrink plastic instead of the matte finish for my jar. And I've cut a jar and then also a topper for it. And all I'm going to do is use my Versamark watermark ink and stamp the jar and then emboss it with white. And then I'm going to stamp the topper with the watermark ink as well and then emboss it with gold embossing powder. Um, I have tried to make as many mistakes as possible for you so that you don't have to make them and I have found that um, certain embossing powders don't work with this uh, particular technique. You're going to emboss it essentially when it's in the oven. You're not going to emboss it before you put it in the oven because as you're heating up the plastic with your um, heat gun it's going to start the shrinking process and that's not what you want. You want to do that in the oven. So I've tried the zing embossing powders and they do not work successfully with this. So um, it's going to be trial and error on your part but um, I have found that um, white and gold from Stampenda seem to work really well, but I would just give it, give them all a try, as many as you can, to achieve the look that you want and see what you end up with. Okay, so here is what um, my shrink plastic looks like after I have coated it with gold embossing powder, and here is my jar, both ready to stick in the oven and shrink. So keep in mind that your plastic's going to shrink about 50% so these turn out so so small. And once again it's a little bit of trial and error uh, based on your individual ovens. Um, I set mine at 325 and then my timer for three minutes and then at three minutes I would check and see what the progress was. And I ended up setting it for another 30 seconds after that. Um, so that was just what the heat setting plus the time factored out to be on my oven. But basically, if your shrink plastic is still curling in the oven, it's not ready yet. It will, it will flatten out when it's ready. And at that point, you'll take it out and you'll have a few minutes before it cools or a few seconds to lightly flatten it. Um, I wouldn't touch it, it's too hot, so use some type of a tool, maybe the ends of your scissors or the point of your scissors to flatten out your images if they need to be. And that way that'll help them from, from curling upwards. But try it over and over again. I hope it'll only take you a couple tries to see what settings you'll need on your oven. Um, but I will be back to show you the results. And just one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, I used my cookie sheet and then a layer of vellum and then my shrink plastic and then another layer of vellum. They say in the instructions that if you top it with a layer of vellum that will kind of keep your images flat um, through, the, through the heating process. So vellum works just fine or you can use um, wax paper. Um, just don't use anything foil or, or metal to top it with so remember that as well. So I've just pulled my shrink plastic jars out of the oven and the topper and this is what we end up with. I love it because it does turn out to be perfectly imperfect. So next comes assembling it by just adhering the topper to the jar. And then all I did to add color to my jar, I wanted it to look like one of those old mason jars, was I just used my Copic marker, Sea Green G12 and I colored the back of it and it transformed it into this pretty pretty clear color and then use it however you want to. I found it works great on a tremendous tag. It's just the right size to attach to a package or to a card. 
um, but there are many different things you can do with these. So have fun experimenting. I can't wait to see what you come up with.